Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about segmentation and peristalsis. So mechanical digestion in the small intestine happens over about three to five hours. So it takes about that long for contents to travel from where it enters the small intestine after leaving the stomach until it leaves the small intestine and enters the large intestine. Uh, so my mechanical digestion uh, throughout the small intestine includes both segmentation and peristalsis. So that's what I'm going to describe for you here. Uh, so segmentation, um, that's where we have contractions in the wall of the small intestine, where the purpose is to slosh the contents around, mix the chyme with the um, different digestive enzymes and secretions from different organs in the digestive tract. Uh, so we're trying to mix and slosh uh, so that everything is fully mixed. And as we're doing that, um, the, the contents, the chyme is coming into contact with the walls of the small intestine. So we're increasing the amount of contact between the contents and the mucosa, the wall of the small intestine for the purpose of absorption. Um, so it's mechanical digestion because we're mechanically moving the contents around, we're sloshing and mixing um, so that we can have better chemical digestion by mixing uh, the different chemicals with the contents to cause better chemical digestion to allow for better absorption by making more contact with the wall. Um, so segmentation is not for the purpose of moving the contents onward. It is happening in a stationary way. It's happening in an individual localized place in the small intestine. Um, and it's like having um, like we have the example of trying to mix up contents in a tube of toothpaste. If I keep the toothpaste closed and squeeze from the middle, and then I squeeze from the ends, and then I squeeze from the middle, and then I squeeze from the ends, I'm going to thoroughly mix up the contents in that tube of toothpaste. And that's what segmentation is doing, like we see in the picture here. So all the way on the left, you see how we're alternating between red and yellow, just to illustrate how we're mixing. We have red and yellow. And then we're squeezing and mixing some of that red and yellow, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing back and forth like the tube of toothpaste, middle ends, middle ends. So we're staying in one location and squeezing to mix up very thoroughly the contents in that location. So that segmentation happens throughout the length of the small intestine. Uh, so it improves chemical digestion. It breaks the food down mechanically to some extent. Um, and increases the contact with the wall so it improves absorption. Uh, so segmentation stops once nutrients are absorbed and then that contents, those contents continue to move down the length of the intestines. So I wanna emphasize that this is happening in a stationary place and segmentation does not push intestinal contents onward. Peristalsis is what pushes the contents onward. Now, peristalsis is the successive muscular contractions along the wall of a hollow muscular structure. So where we have a hollow tube with muscle in the wall, it would be capable of peristalsis where the muscles are contracting sort of like this. They're contracting along the length of that tube to push the contents of that tube onward. Um, now I want to point out that peristalsis is not uniquely digestive. Peristalsis happens in many different systems in the body um, because we have lots of hollow muscular structures where we wanna propel the contents onward. So we see peristalsis in the urinary tract, the respiratory, the um, reproductive tract, uh, we see it in blood vessels. So anywhere where we have hollow tubes, we can have peristalsis take place. So there's a lot of peristalsis in the digestive tract, but I just want to make sure it's very clear that this is not the only place. It is not a specifically a digestive function. We have this in many other places. Uh, so peristalsis in the small intestine starts at the inferior stomach, 
um, or the distal stomach, we could say in this case, uh, right before the contents move from the stomach into the small intestine. And that peristalsis moves like a wave through the entire small intestine all the way to the large intestine. Uh, takes about 90 to 120 minutes for that wave to pass all the way through the whole small intestine. And then it, another wave starts all over again, starting at the stomach. Okay, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching.